How's it going on everybody? My name is Pekam and welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's video we're recapping the second day of Easter egg hunting. So if you wanted to know everything that happened in this day, watch this video. The second day has been solved. It has been marked out. We are all waiting out for the third day, which is tomorrow. While we're waiting, let's just recap everything that we know so far about the second day. It just started like always. We all went to pond take spawn slash TV again, but there was a new tape there. So the second tip, which is indicated with the color orange, and as I mentioned in my previous video, if you haven't watched it, go check it out right now, so you might miss some, uh, some stuff that I'm going to talk about. The colors indicate the ciphers. So they are a total of six ciphers. Green, yellow, orange, red, pink, and kind of purple. Today's video was orange, and it was covering the stuff that happened in 1968 through 1969 a one year period in the Cold War era. In this video we had numbers again, just like the one we had in the yesterday's video. Today's numbers were 06, 25, 11, 19 and 16 at the end. So it was a 10 digit number today, regardless of yesterday's video which had 6 numbers. While we were watching today's video, it, sh it focused a lot around the landing to the moon and going to space. And to be honest, I will be really disappointed if we don't have at least a zombie map like moon from bo one a zombie map in space or at least a campaign mission in space because they are featuring a lot a lot they're showcasing a lot about landing on the moon and traveling to space first video and now the second video so i will be really disappointed so please Treyarch, if you're listening do it and talking about space and talking about landing on the moon Treyarch posted this on their insta story it's the first apollo it's the first one launching through the moon. So, I mean, really, again, I'll be a bit disappointed if you don't include at least one. While the video was showing, same as yesterday's video, it showed a new location. WZ, which stands for War Zone. B5, which is a new location on the map. So if we go there, but just like the previous video, you can do that for yourself. You can go to the new bunker. I mean, it's it's been there, but you couldn't interact with the keypad. You can go to bunker 3, which is located at B5. And go down... And type in the rest of the code, which is 8762 Bunker opens. If you go in, just like the previous location, we can find three new ciphers. Uh, all the ciphers has been data mined, but I'm not going to show anything about those. I'm just talking about the official things that we have, so if you don't get misunderstood. We have three ci brand new ciphers in today's bunker. The first one is the yellow one, which you can see right here. I mean, it... I, I, it has a lot of numbers, so it could, it could conclude when we get the yellow tape, those numbers can be put into this cipher when we have the complete version of it, and now we can solve that cipher with the, with the yellow tape, but for now we don't have it. And we have two ciphers which are purple. The first one is this, and the other one is this one. Fun little fact that happened in Noah J's stream, somebody did the data mine purple ciphers has figured out a number i'm not gonna show you the number because we aren't supposed to get that number yet because he solved it with the data mine ciphers we don't have the complete ciphers yet but when you call that number there's a man talking and he asks for a six digit number that it can put into it so the theory is when the purple tape comes out you put it in there's six digit that can pop up in the screen you will call that number type it in and you would get something cool. I would think the purple one would be the last one, as indicated on this picture, but no one can really know. In the room, there are two more th interesting things that we can look at. There's a phone, which I, I think you can find this phone in a lot of bunkers, bunker 11 and, and the rest. And there's a number typed onto it, 5325. It really has to be meaningful, but we don't know the meaning of it yet. So. The second thing that caught my eye is this face statue, which is from a man, I don't know his name, but they showed him in this in today's tape. After everybody went to the bunkers, they figured out the ciphers that we needed to be figured out, they thought, okay, today's done, today's done, there's nothing else that we can do. But the day wasn't marked yet, Did they know something else needed to be discovered. When they put the second tape on the website, it said volume 1. And yesterday's video was named Volume 2. That they thought they mixed it up and there was a mistake. But after everything was done, people went into yesterday's video, Volume 2 this time, and they figured out some other numbers. 
So yesterday's video only had 37, 25, 48 in it, the six digit number, that was it. But today we had 0, 8, 37, 15, 25, 60, and 63 at the end. I don't know what they are gonna do with them. Probably tomorrow this one will be volume 2. Previous one will be volume 3 maybe. More numbers will be added. I don't know what the heck are they doing. This has been the third day. Day number 2 has been crossed. And we have yet to see what is about day 3. Tune in to tomorrow's video. Because I'll be covering everything from day 3 as well. Moving our way towards the final day. And possibly the COD 2020. If you have liked this video please consider liking it. Actually liking it at the website. And consider subscribing to my channel. Because we are going to continue our search and our hunt. And I'm going to recap everything for you guys throughout this history hunt. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And have a good night.